the question that I would ask in an interview usually is, tell me about the, your last appraisal with your previous manager and what were the key weaknesses that you were asked to address um, as a consequence of that appraisal? And I think it's a killer question because it can go one of two ways. One, I think people can dwell on their weaknesses too much and then things start to unravel and it offers the interviewer the opportunity to dig into some areas that possibly the applicant doesn't want them to go to. I think people can go to the other extreme as well um, and then can come across as arrogant because they will go, well, actually, I had no learning and development points. You know, I'm very good at my role, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And again, that will, that will raise equal alarm bells. The way that I would recommend that you deal with it is to acknowledge any weaknesses that were highlighted in your appraisal, thinking carefully about what they were before you go into the interview and stress how you've learned from those and then applied that learning and grown from it. And that, that, to me, gives a really strong answer to that. But the number of people I can catch out on that type of question uh, is, is, is pretty considerable. Basically, killer interview questions can be very different for everybody, really. Um, it could be anything from name your five biggest strengths. It could be why should I choose you over the other 50 applicants who have applied. Um, basically, the key is practice, practice, practice. Um, I would strongly advise you to look and practice all of the competency-based questions you can. Know your CV inside and out so you can do that. Um, also, sometimes a killer question can be as simple as what um, is there any questions that I can answer for you about the company? Um, in that case again practice and prepare some questions about the company perhaps about the reporting structure perhaps about their current projects or what kind of career progression there is within the organization one of the biggest ones you'll come across is what are your salary expectations you have to not answer that question it, this has to be a career move if you're purely moving for salary firstly it's the wrong move for you and secondly the client doesn't want to know you'll either undersell yourself or you'll cut yourself out of the running. Uh, a killer question uh, is a question that's asked of, of a candidate essentially to knock them off guard. Uh, so one example of a killer question could be, uh, your CV looks boring, what is it that makes you interesting? Uh, and the purpose is not uh, for the interviewer uh, to come across as inexperienced, unprofessional or insulting. What it's designed to do is to take you out of the traditional question and answer format of an interview. Uh, and it's there to uh, demonstrate that you have a level of self-awareness. Uh, you may demonstrate a mistake that you've made uh, and you'll indicate uh, the effect that that mistake has had on you, uh, perhaps on your team, and what you've learned from that, so that whenever you do join a new company, that you've got a level of maturity. Uh, one killer interview question is, why do you want this job? And I think you just answer that honestly and succinctly, and you say that you've got the skills to do the job, as demonstrated throughout this interview, and I feel I could do a good job for you, and I'd be very proud to work for your company.